Hey guys, I haven't posted in so long. We don't have no power. Uh, our internet is out. So if that's our power. Running lights and a couple of fans. We get our water to flush our toilet from Dan's uh, swimming pool. Good chlorine water. So uh, we're able to use that part of the house. We uh, taking baths a little bit different story. Hold it here, here he come. Here he come. He heard me talking. I'm over here, Ivan. But it's it's a struggle, guys. I'm gonna tell you what. We don't realize how much we depend on that power, that electricity. And when your home is all electric, it becomes a headache. But I was gonna drive around and show you some stuff that has been accomplished because I haven't been able to video and, and go places and post. Some of these guys are able to drive places and post their things. I'm not, because I've been trying to get this place livable. Uh, we've got the yards all cleaned up. Ben and Jake are even working this morning. Cleaning some stuff up. I'm gonna drive real slow because I got that water back. I don't wanna lose it after going over and filling them up. And uh, you see, they're out here working now, loading up some more limbs and stuff. We had limbs down everywhere. Yeah, they gotta get it good. They get it good. Dan's got his yard all put back together. Uh, there's a limb hanging right there. They couldn't pull out the tree, I guess. Not completely broke. Uh, Dan went back to work today. Lee went back to work today. Laramie went back to work today. Uh, they have electricity at those places where they work. Uh, the yards, I'm sure y'all seen other videos of all the limbs and stuff down. They were everywhere. I, they were being cleaned up our yard and I mowed it yesterday, so it looks a lot better. Uh, it's it's just been tough. I don't have the time to go out and video, guys. I'm sorry. It's just been, I know a lot of folks are, you know, they've been seeing a couple of videos that I made last week. Just hadn't had a chance to get them posted because the storm was coming. I've got two videos that y'all see when I do post or when I did get posted of the storm coming in and a little bit after, during and after. Still a lot of stuff to be picked up, cleaned up. But it's getting there. It's getting there. So we get electricity back on, but I think they're saying Sunday maybe. So we're gonna be living in pretty pretty rough style until Sunday anyway. And uh, all the animals are safe. That was the main thing. All the animals are safe and no damages to our homes except except for uh, Buddy and Steph. Got that tree through the top of their house. And uh, Lester sent some, uh, some folks over and they cut the tree off, did a great job. Come on, Woody. Come on. Back up so we can get out. Buster. Uh, he sent a crew over. They got the tree off and did a good job. Buddy's putting tarps on it, I think, today. They came in early for their vacation. They found out about the damages. And they're living inside their little motor home which has a generator and everything. They've been living in it for two weeks anyway. It's not a big deal. Uh, we still got a lot of limbs to be picked up. We do a, do a priority as we go. A priority with the yard and around the houses and stuff like that. Still some limbs out here in the goat pen, in the back pen too. We will get to and we'll also come over here my little Craig Marlins took a beat. Woo, they took a beat. Uh, this metal that Bree sent over here, Jake Rover stacked up. You can see it's all out in the back. I may already show you guys that. So when we get the time, time, we will restack it. Bees are doing good. I was worried about them because, you know, that storm blew their top off. I had a weight on there, just wasn't enough weight. And I came out and put it back on. 
put a lot of extra weight on it to keep them blowing off. We got the time, we'll restack all this and put all these back where they go. They blow out everywhere. So that's, that's the way it is right now. Everybody's working. So I'll just say this, if I don't get a video out to you go a day or two without a video, it's not my fault. <laughs> Here I'm apologizing, but uh, I don't have the time to take off and go forever to find a place I can get a signal with all the stuff that had to be done around here. Uh, I didn't have that uh, convenience, I guess you call it. I don't know. Uh, Dan and them are staying at the lake at night. It's air conditioned. Uh, Bree and them stayed, I think, at Longhorn Lester's last night, and it's late night at the night before at the lake, so they had air conditioning and stuff. We don't. We have uh, a generator running, a little generator, and we have a fans at the end of our beds so we can sleep cool and then during the day we got a little tv and a dvd player set up in the living room and fans blowing in there <laughs> besides that we're roughing it guys we're roughing it and there's nothing really going yet everything just you know you hear generators everywhere so we just have to watch and see how it works i love you guys I'll get back to you on some more of the video here as we go through the day. I don't know when I'll get it posted. They got one that's broke off up in there. They're going to tie it off to the tractor and pull it out of there again. It's good to have these guys here working every day. One way to get it out of there, ain't it? <laughs> All right, we're down here at Kim's. Buddy and me and Kim trying to get her well primed. Uh, we can't get it primed. We're going to call the well man, our man Ronnie. But uh, here with Kim, I noticed you know, I, I had a set of tools mm -mm. very similar. It went missing. And I don't see her name on these. Dad? What, baby? You're making a silly, I won't want to say a fool of yourself. No, we don't call people fools. No, but these it's people know that. These huh? people, but I'll say this, these people know you're lying. <laughs> because I showed them on video my new set of tools. Oh, well, I didn't say they were mine. I said he kind of looked oh, like mine. So, yeah, change your story now, yeah, Daddy. I said he looked like mine. I said, I, Dad, you might get one of these for Christmas. Well, those look like mine. Well, I'll be honest, I don't have nothing like that. But they're pretty. They are pretty. They got all kinds of different sets. That's yeah, good, 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 good name brand. I don't know if that's a good name brand. Sure, take, yeah, that's good. Anyway. For what we do, it is. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. So uh, we got the dad's generator is the only one with this kind of. Pigtail. Pigtail or plug and that this goes, pigtail was made goes for over it. here to the well. And Bud's got it all hooked Daddy's in Daddy's sitting on my old generator that drips gas drips. in the line. So it, it runs good. Yeah, it starts cranks up right now. But off. it also don't have 220 on it. Or does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, you just don't have a pigtail to fit it. No, mine's four. Okay, I got you. Yours is just three. All right. Now you have to twist it. Yours is three. Yeah, okay. Mine's four. All right. So you push so, it in and turn it. I'm not turning it. Well, just leave it alone. Let Buddy do it before it. you break something, Kim. My okay. goodness. Anyway. This so, generator. Lester got me this generator a couple of years ago. We've never run it because we never needed it. It's the first time we've lost power since we've got this generator. Yeah, well, we've long term. Yeah, long term. We've had those little rolling. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, for three or four hours. Yeah. Well, yeah, a little Honda always took care of that. 
or or just cut lift everything off. Yeah. And this is the one you plan to set up sort of permanently beside your well house one day. Yeah, but I've been looking out there this morning. I may put it on my back patio where my grill sits. It'll be out of the weather. And that pigtail will reach that main meter pole. Yeah, that'll be good. And just hook it into the meter pole that way and back feed throughout the system. All you have to do is cut your main breaker off. You mean to your whole house? You cut the main off coming in off the pole. Because if you don't, you're going to feed electricity back right, up yeah, to yeah, that I know, pole. But that's what I'm saying. You're saying cut the main off so you can use this to do your house? Will this run your whole house? Or you're just saying just for the well? No, it'll run. It'll run. You could. I don't think you run everything at the same time. But it'll run, it'll run all the 110 stuff plus my well at the same time. Oh, it will? Yeah. But these use so much fuel, you couldn't run all day and night unless you got a pocket full of money to buy gas. Yeah. But yeah, it would be good. We mainly wanted them for water. To run the well for a little while. Yeah, you could run it for a couple of hours. Coons Water Well Service Huffman. Yes. Yeah. You can run it for a couple of hours, run all the water you need, do all your toilets, wash your clothes. You know? I just need to fill the RV up, that's it. We can last a week on that. All right. I mean, if we can get your well running, I can drive the RV up there and fill it. Doesn't help mom. Okay. You ready to go, Woody? Are you ready? I think G and Ben were eating something, so <laughs> Buster had to stay so he could get, get a bite. Somebody left the gates open. <laughs> Gate over here is open. And I haven't come out of there. He's a miracle. And I'm too busy right now to mess with him, so Wait, these two guys here are out. Uh, they may come over by the back of the house so I can pin them back up. They leave, they leave gates open around here. Things get out. It's just, that's why they build gates. So one day, people that go through gates will realize, close gates. You have to close gates. I'm working here on this meter. I'll try wire in a pigtail and put on a breaker and put it in this breaker box here and set my generator right inside there where the grill is and my wire will reach stop buster buster my little boy down here I'll let y'all in generator back up here we're gonna try to pump us up some water okay hopefully I don't have to prime my well too that means it'll be the next day for the well man comes back <laughs> yeah so we'll see we'll have to wait to see yeah I look scruffy <laughs> I feel scruffy uh spit baths are not the best but better than this uh, we lost our power we lost our internet 
we just got this is what is today Woody Wednesday it's Wednesday afternoon four or five o'clock we just got our internet back no lights run off a generator so the two videos I put out I'm gonna try to get this out for you tonight because I put out a video when the storm was coming and then during the storm uh, two different videos and I couldn't post them I had no internet so I was able to post them today hopefully it says they posted it's kind of in and out still kind of in and out but I'm going to try to get this one out to you tonight so you'll know what's happening we're still in the cleanup processes here. Uh, Buddy and Kim have my generator that, that Lester got us here after Hurricane Harvey. We haven't lost power since then, except for a couple of little old blackouts, they call them. I'm going to walk out here. Come on, boys. Uh, it's hot. It's hot today, guys. And all we got in the house is a box fan and one little oscillating fan and yeah, we're sitting in front of them. got a little tv in there of the dvd dvd player and uh been watching some of my movies at night that g don't care for but she watched them better than nothing <laughs> but now we got uh internet's back on our tv's back on our regular tv works off all that uh, so she's watching her, her shows now. So it's really hard to tell you where to, where to start, uh, except for they said we might get lights back tonight, but then they changed it. It might be Sunday night. Lou just come home from, she worked today. Her and Dan are fixing and Dan work. They're about to go back to the lake for the night. And I told her, I said, I'm going to take a bath in your pool tonight. She said, that's fine. So I'm going to get in their pool tonight, if at all possible. I don't know if I'll go skinny dipping, but I might. So if Jake and Lisa out there, <laughs> it's, just, it's too bad. It's just too bad. They want to see old pop off. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm not bashful. Are we? Oh boys. Now I am gonna to try to take a bath in that pool. I can get in, just play it for a little bit, then get out and soap off good, then take water and just dip it and pour them. That's what Kim does. I've done that before. One year, uh Lester and I we had a hurricane coming to me. I don't like cats, but come here. You know I don't like you know I don't like cats. I don't like kitties. Uh, one year, we uh, got out there and cleaned all the water troughs before Hurricane come, filled them full of good fresh water. I don't, I don't. And we would go out, after we lost power, we'd go out and dump water on us, soap down and dump water on us, clean us off yeah, a lot of folks are doing that in their swimming pools around you know and, uh, without power like 7 or 8 9 to 8 something like that it was, it was tough it was tough but we made it we made it uh, we'll talk about some hurricanes one day and make a video about some of the things we've experienced during hurricanes quite a quite an interesting story I think but this one here I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I told Kim this morning, I said, I, I, I can't fathom, fathom, fathom. Yeah, it's, Macy, it's fathom, baby. You told me wrong. It's her fault. If this would have been a two or a three or four or five, when it got here, it was a one and, and just fixed a downgrade to a tropical depression or storm, whatever they call it. And still, the wind... At times, it's 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, I think. 
I noticed some gusts. I think some folks sailed 50 or 60 miles an hour and come through and knock these trees down left or right. Can you imagine it'd been a hundred mile an hour winds? You know? And it's funny how those bands come across. You know, it might be a space between them that wasn't a lot of much at all. Like uh, we got a lot of bands through here, knocked a lot of trees down, lost a lot of power. But in Dayton, 20 miles east of us, didn't get much damage at all. But Liberty, seven miles on further over, when well, bands come through and knocked all kinds of stuff out. So they're still without power. So it's just crazy. Uh, one of the bands went through Louisiana up where Ronnie lives and, and almost tore everything up. It's uh, but it's, it's out of here now. It's, it's going north. It's, you guys, you got to hang on. It's getting weaker, I think. We only got like five, a little over five inches of rain here as far as my range gauge, gauge could tell because the rain going sideways may not rest your good. The river has not come up a lot. I don't think it will. I don't think it'll come out of banks. Went down yesterday and it was like half bank and went down today 24 hours later and it only come up maybe a couple of foot. So it's not coming up fast if it's coming up. Well, it's coming up, but not fast. And I think I don't think they got that much more rain up above us either. So I think we're going to be fine on that. Cows out in the back. Boys went through this morning cleaning up all this limb stuff. Jake and, and uh, Ben, they left the gate open. Ivan's out the back. Yeah. Uh, I may bring him back in today and I may not. Yeah, I know he'll be up here in the morning for snacks. He'll come for snacks. And I'll put him back in with the goats. Anyway, they're all fine. The weather's clear. Nothing going on. I'm probably just talking in a circle because I'm just tired. I I'm just tired. Uh, ben is, and Jake and them have cleaned up so much around here. Dan worked a little bit with them yesterday. Yeah, Lee come down and worked one, one day with, that, uh, with Jake. Uh, cleaned up limbs and stuff. I picked up some. Don't think Paul didn't do something. I drug some out with my mule. But uh, we're tired. That's, everybody's tired. If we get lights back on, things will be good. Get that air on again, that good cool air conditioning. As it is, I'm charging our refrigerator and freezer off our little generator. I'm not able to charge one out here in my man cave because it's just, you know, I can't run cars everywhere on that one little generator. But he's got my big generator, he got it going. Uh, I went down and he come and got it because his pigtail he had hooked to his well wouldn't fit Kim's generator, but it wouldn't mind. So he come up and got mine, took it down the one that Lester got us and put gas in it and got it cranked up and running. But the well needed priming, so they called the well man. And you'll see that on this video. I'm probably repeat myself. I've had a hard night. Hard three or four nights. It ain't so bad. I'm gonna cut this off, guys. We'll get this out to you this evening. So you get a video Thursday morning showing as the storm was coming in. And then another video after the storm went out. That'll come out on Friday. You'll get this one tonight. And I hope you enjoy it. Hope you share it. Uh We're waiting for power. I love you guys. Y'all take care.